Hi, this is Chris Davis, it's Nash again, Android Community, and this is the Moto 360. It's uh, Motorola's first Android Wear smartwatch, and also it's the first circular Android Wear smartwatch that has arrived to market. Now you might remember this from uh, Google I.O., where Google announced it on stage, and it wasn't quite ready for retail then, but it is today. It goes on sale for 249 at uh, Motorola's own online store, uh, Best Buy Online and Google Play, and it'll be in the select Best Buy stores at retail locations as well, if you want to go and try it on. And from first impressions, you really should. Uh, it's quite a different experience from what we've seen from the square-faced Android Wear smartwatches that we've reviewed from LG and Samsung so far. Uh, it uses an LCD screen that uh, Motorola itself had a hand in designing and uh, it's an incredible uh, panel actually. Uh, you have very, very small bezels between uh, the edge of the screen and the surrounding of the stainless steel casing. Uh, the only kind of marring point is this uh, slice at the bottom as Motorola refers to it. Now this is actually where the uh, LCD driver and also the uh, ambient light sensor live. And, uh, the company tells us that whilst this has been criticised by some, it was actually a conscious decision by Motorola. Um, they decided to put that there because if they put the LCD driver elsewhere in the form factor, they couldn't have had these tiny, tiny vessels. And the result is a watch where you don't really notice the form factor, you just see the uh, display. Uh, helped by the fact that it's, it's relatively small, it's a fairly thick watch, uh, but not for a, a smart watch, but if you're a regular watch wearer you might find that a bit small, a bit large I should say. Um, but you do fit in quite a lot, so on the back there is a uh, completely furred in pulse rate sensor, unlike the notched out sensors that we've seen that can kind of gather up all kind of arm gunk. Um, it also has inductive charging in this dock, if it was plugged in I could just drop it into place and it would start charging. Um, and it comes with all the usual Android Wear functionality. So, as you can see, I've just got an email that came in there uh, that I can uh, read, get rid of. Um, pedometer built in, um, weather, and it has a uh, Google Mouse, but of course, you can say, Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What time is it in Berlin? and get all manner of different notifications and things uh, directly to your wrist. Because it's a circular smartwatch, there are a variety of new watch faces that Motorola's customized, uh, ranging from a kind of a relatively minimal watch uh, through to chronographs and other layouts which show things like pedometer steps and how close you are to hitting a 30-day goal for activity each day. The standard bands are this black finish as well as a grey version, and Best Buy will have a limited edition suede finish grey, uh, which is on sale exclusively through its website and in its stores. Later on in the fall, there'll be a metal bracelet version, again, both in black and silver, and you'll be able to retroactively buy those bands and fit them to the 360 yourself if you prefer. Motorola will also have a selection of different leather bands, and it's picked one of its local Chicago leather tannery companies to supply those, and it's a pretty decent band. You get a very thick leather, feels quite high quality, and it helps make the Moto 360 feel more like a regular watch rather than being a geeky piece of arm furniture. And that's really what the 360 is all about. Um, it does exactly the same uh, as all of the other smartwatches running Android Wear we've seen recently, uh, but it does it in a way which looks a whole lot more appealing perhaps. And this is something that Motorola is hoping we'd, will take it outside the realm of the basic smartwatch and instead make it into a wearable device, a piece of jewellery, something which will appeal to people other than the standard geek audience. Uh, we'll know whether they've succeeded when uh, sales kick off uh, today. We'll have a full review up on Slashcare very soon, and thanks very much for watching.